What's up, y'all? This is Douglas, and today I am doing a review for the Mage set from the Great Dark Beyond. And I gotta tell you, so far, this has been my favorite set to review. I am so excited for, um, spoiler alert, for Elemental Mage. They got a really, really big package for it. So if you're a big fan of Elementals, watch out for this set, y'all. I cannot wait to try this. There's a day one card craft for me in here, so check that one out. I'm doing a Tavern Pass giveaway. All you gotta do is like and comment the Druid set review video. It's right there in the description and in the description below. So thanks for watching y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Really, really appreciate y'all. Peace. All right, let's take a look at the mage card. So first up, we have the Spontaneous Combustion. It's a two mana fire spell. Oh, cool, fire spell. That's been a while, I feel like. It deals four damage to a random enemy. If you played an elemental last turn, oh, they're getting elemental support, interesting. Choose the target. Oh man, this is good. Um, Elemental Mage is already a prevalent deck. It's cheap. It's really, really cheap to craft. So um, I could easily see this being slotted into a Mage deck, uh, into an Elemental deck. And you know, the good thing about Elemental Mage in particular is they don't necessarily rely on the chain mechanic to pull off big turns, right? Some cards do, uh, but it's not as dependent like it is with Shaman. So... Even if you temple this out, right? Deal four damage to a random enemy. It could swing face. This could swing face, man. So, or it clears an, uh, a minion on the board. Seems like a really solid card on its own, even without the elemental uh, requirement. That's a good card. And elemental mage is getting support. So that's really, really nice. Interesting. The cheapest card for mage is two mana, huh? Next up, we have another elemental. It's a three mana, three, four, Blasteroid. Oh, the art looks cool for that. I wonder, Um, I want to see the full art card for that. The card art. <clears throat> it's a battle cry shuffle five random five random fire spells into your deck. They cost two less. Huh. Wow. Five spells is a lot. That's a lot of spells. And with the mana production. Um I again this is elemental support. You shuffle your hand. Maybe there's an effect that I'm not uh, aware of where you'll be shuffling cards, but yeah, on its own, it's uh it's five random spells with the mana cost reduction of, of two, right? So I think this is a good card on its own. The It's another three three mana, three, four, right? Like there's a million of those. So yeah, man, I don't know. This seems like a good card to me. Getting five different spells with the mana cost reduction of two uh, seems really, really good. Next up, we have another elemental. Wow. It seems like elemental mage is here to stay. Neat, neat. This is an epic card. If this is an epic card, this is probably the most expensive card for the for the elemental variant, right? Blazing accretion, accretion. Battle card. Destroy the top three cards of your deck. Any fire spells or elementals are drawn instead. Holy crap! This is good. Damn, what a good card. Shit stats on the card, but it doesn't matter. The effect of it is effective. Wow, that's redundant. That it's an effective card, man. <laughs> It destroys the top three cards of your deck. And if you're already building your deck around elementals and let's just say a bunch of fire spells, or you play the Blasteroid, right? Immediate synergy with, with Blasteroid. Um, you can draw those cards instead of, of destroying them. So, wow. Really, really good card, man. Watch out for these. I feel like I have to say it already. Watch out for this pack. It just seems good, man. Elemental Mage was decent enough. It wasn't, you know, it was really, really a budget-friendly deck, but... With the inclusion of new cards, man, it's looking, it's looking pretty scary, honestly. I really, really like Blazing Accretion. Wow, what a good effect, man. It, it's basically draw three if you have the right requirements, man. With the minion on the board, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Next up, we have right above me, we have the Pocket Dimension. It's a four mana arcane spell. Discover a spell. Repeat until you see one for the second time. So you can get lucky and and basically draw a bunch of spells with this card um but if if reno mage was a prevalent deck um <laughs> oh oh sorry 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 it's discover a spell okay look we have made a few mistakes during our, our reviews and overviews so let me tell you we need to read these cards okay i thought it said draw us a, a, a spell because i'm like damn you're just gonna be able to draw Spell after spell after spell <laughs> if you're playing a Reno deck, but it's discover a spell. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it stops until you see you see one for the second time. Okay, it's a decent card. It's kind of expensive for four mana just for uh, discovery. You can potentially discover a bunch of cards, right? Or you could get 
unlucky and just dud on the first one. Yeah, re-evaluating this card, it's uh, it's kind of weak. Four mana is expensive. If it was three mana, maybe. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe in a late game or again, if somehow a Reno deck emerges from this, you could probably play this in the late game and get some value out of it. But man, you play this on turn four for nothing. Uh, that's that's not good, man. I don't know. It's kind of weak, kind of weak. Okay. Uh, from the left, we have the Exarch Hataru. It's a 5 mana 5-5. Five, five. Discover a spell and reduce its cost by 1. If you play it this turn, repeat this effect. Discover a spell and reduce its cost by 1. Um, it's kind of slow on its own, but looking at the card right next to it, um, so look, so look the Ingenious Artificer does, the next Drena you play refreshes mana crystals equal to its attack so let's say you play the artificer right and then you play hataru um all of a sudden you have five mana right extra mana you discover a spell and you can reduce it by one this can get crazy right all of a sudden um under the right setup on its own i don't think i don't think it's a good card but if you somehow build a deck around like maybe generating a bunch of a bunch of coins so you can do this card and then maybe have a big swing turn it's only mana reduction by one right so it's not that it's not that crazy and as it stands mage has a ton of uh high mana cost spells right so you might hit a dud and get three and discover three late game cards and not be able to play one right so again it's purely purely dependent on on what cards you get and with a little bit of setup but on its own i have to i have to review the card individually right um it's kind of weak i feel like it's kind of weak if it was four mana maybe but five mana is, is kind of rough but with setups it seems it seems nuts I'll, I'll be willing to try it though and i'm looking forward to seeing the full card so we already mentioned the next card it's the ingenious artificer so it's a five, four, five mana four six decent stats and with the battle cry effect the next drain that you play refreshes mana crystals equal to its attack so this card seems good, man. This could be used for setup for Hataru, for, I don't know, Velen. Then you get uh, you get your seven mana crystals back. Maybe you can trigger the effect of Velen and a bunch of shit starts happening. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a good, good setup card. Um, and I like that it's restricted. It's specifically restricted to Drain Eye because if it was like the next minion you play, then dude... You can fucking do anything, right? And there's a neutral card as well, similar to this, right? Um, where it's the the spell, the uh, the next spell you play, a random spell in your hand is uh, reduced to the cost of the attack of the the minion played. So I like the idea behind it. I think mage might benefit this, and like a control big spell mage. Big spell mage is pretty rampant right now. So I don't know. Watch out for this one. I don't have the big brain capacity to figure out exactly what you might do with this card but evaluating it right next to Hataru it, it seems really really good okay uh, next up we have solar flare another fire spell it's a five minute spell it does it deals two damage to all enemies it costs one less for each elemental you control oh boy elemental mage if I remember correctly the biggest gripe that people had with Elemental Mage was dealing with the board, right? That deck was all about swinging phase. If you started trading minions, you you were kind of losing the game because you lost a lot of your effectiveness and resources for the deck, right? It's all about swinging phase and closing out the games with Elementals. And then all of a sudden, now they have a, a removal tool card, man. And Mages play a bunch of Elementals, right? They They can plop Elementals on the board, no problem. That's a good card, man. Elemental Mage is looking pretty good this expansion. It would it was already a decent deck, right? But with the inclusion of these cards, holy crap, dude. We might be in for a a big treat here with Elemental Mage. So if you like elemental cards, I'm a big fan of elemental cards. This could be your expansion, man. This is really, really sweet to see. Okay, let's check out the next card, the next legendary card that my head is covering. We have Sarun, whoa, look at that art, man. I can't wait to see the, the full art for that. And hopefully it has a signature. Wow, that looks sick. It's give all, oh shit. It's a six mana, seven, six elemental again. 
Give all elementals in your deck fire spell damage plus one. Oh my god, bro. This could get nasty. There's there's some decent uh there's some decent fire spells for mage, dude. Ooh. Okay, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. This could be a dud or whatever, but element elements mage is gonna be uh like an A to B tier deck, man. It's looking good. It's be all of a sudden it's become more expensive, right? One legendary. It used to be, uh, I think, Elemental Mage used to cost like what, like twelve hundred to six hundred, uh, sixteen hundred dust. It was really, really cheap, right? And then now a single uh, legendary card makes it the double the price, right, of cost. Damn, dude, this card is good, man. Um, yeah, you're getting a bunch of fire spells. Look, like spontaneous combustion already, right? The the card right above me. Um. Let's just say the board is empty, you start closing out the game, dude. Man. Solar flare. Solar bro, give all elements on your deck fire spell plus one. This could get out of control, man. You spam a bunch of little minions and you play solar flare. Boom, dude. You go face and the game. And then you close out the games with the four mana elementals that uh go face for each time you play an elemental each turn. Dude. No, elemental mage is looking scary, bro. This is a good set for elementals. Um, I don't know. I, I, I was expecting to get starships with mage, but I'm way happier, way happier with this outcome, man. Sarun is looking like a sick card. That's looking like a day one craft for me, dude. I got to play elemental mage on, on day one. Holy crap. Sick freaking card, man. Okay, let's look at the last set of cards for mage. All right, the last two cards are Arcwing Pilot. It's a, ooh, that's expensive. It's a seven mana, four, three. At the end of your turn, deal three mana, deal, deal three mana, deal three damage to a random enemy. Spell burst, summon, and Arcwing pilot. Okay, if this was a druid card, I would be crying right now. I would be sad and depressed because I would have to deal with this card for the rest of time playing druid, but it's a mage card. It's expensive. Seven mana is a lot. Um, By that turn, I feel like, Having a big board is is not a problem in your in your uh Jesus, I just saw the, the card right next to it. <laughs> um yeah, it, again, I mentioned if this was a druid card, I, I would be a, a out of control card, but because it's in mage, they have no real effective way to ramp or gain mana effectively. I'm sure you can build a deck around, then maybe you play coins, but um and then maybe that way you can get a bunch of Arcwing pilots, but at that at that phase of the game, there's already a lot of minions, um, like death rattle minions or big health minions that are hard to deal with. So I don't see this being effective in us unless you can pull off a turn where you can summon your board full of uh, full of Arkham pilots in one turn. But even then, right? That's that's twenty one damage. I mean, that's pretty good if the board is empty, right? Three times seven, yeah, that's twenty one. Um, but I, I don't know. It's kind of weak. I wouldn't want to necessarily put this in my deck. Maybe a, a good arena card, right? All right, let's talk about the... Oh, my God. Let's talk about the, the next card, bro. Supernova. It's an 8-mana fire spell. It fills your hand with the random fire spells. They cost 1. Oh, my God, man. Elemental Mage or, or like, a wacky... Like, like, wacky big spell mage... Uh, it, it's gonna be nasty this turn, dude. I, I wouldn't even want to play this deck in my deck. I, would, I wouldn't want to play this card in my deck. Unless it's Big Spell Mage, right? Um, cause then it could be good with utility, but I'm just praying. I'm praying that I get, I get it from Blasteroid. And then it costs six mana, dude. And then I get a shit ton of fire spells. It costs one. Dude, no. So, and then you set it up with Sarun, plop a bunch of minions, and then you just delete your opponent dude oh man it's, it's supernova <laughs> i want to see the art for that one the full art um pretty sweet card uh <laughs> i don't know if it's good but i like cards like this man at least they don't cause zero right you they won't be able to be played all in one turn but all of a sudden now big spell mage has another big spell to to have fun with right and it's a it's a hand refill, right? So for me, that's that's really really good, man. 
wow, I'm excited for this uh, this mage set. Really, really good job so far. Supernova is looking really, really good. I would say the weakest card from this set is probably Arcwing Pilot. Um, the sleeper card of this set, uh, I would say... I'm going to have to say it's Ingenious Artificer. It's just... This, this, this effect is scary, man. Anytime you can refresh and play another card for free, it's good. And then my favorite card is Sarun. Oh my god, dude. I just want to just be able to... <laughs> Elemental Mage is looking really, really cool. So that was the set review for Mage. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching, y'all. I have been doing a Druid giveaway. A Druid giveaway. I'm doing a Tavern Pass giveaway. If we manage to hit 200 subscribers, all you got to do is like and comment the Druid card review set. Thanks for watching, y'all. I really, really appreciate the support. Peace.